When you look at the stalk, what do you see? I see a way up and a way down. That's good to be back. Ready? Jack the Giant Slayer is a fairy tale about a young farm boy falls in love with humble princess. She's spirited to Gantua. He volunteers to rescue her. What do you suppose is up there? I never suppose. I simply prepare for everything. It's a big production, you know. Today we're on blue screen set, but mainly we've been shooting in forests and fields and cathedrals. We did build some rather large sets, which we needed because we had a lot of action taking place. <laughs> I saw your lies and I'm lost. When there's so much of the film that's going to be added digitally at the end, every little help that you can get is really appreciated. There was air cannons and shaking rigs and rams built into the floor that I would run into and it'd lift me up as if a beanstalk had erupted through the floor. It's been awesome. God, I love anything to do with it. Just a bit of mayhem on the set. Yes, so what we see behind us is the base of the beanstalk, but it's not all there because digitally it'll be extended. It'll become a great big mass of tendrils going up. So you need to build part of the stalk so people can interact with it and be on it and then enhance it through visual effects. It was scaffolding, plywood, then plaster. You look up at it, you think that's a long way up. You know, I wouldn't want to climb up there. Well, we have done a bit of climbing training because we do quite extensive beanstalk climbing. Our beanstalk's meant to be like five miles high or something, so we have to do it in sections. The thing about the beanstalk is you're climbing the beanstalk in armor, and then you get up the top, and then they say, we've got to have the rain, and they throw water at you, and then they turn the fans on, and you're hit by wind. So you're basically up there, it's trying to make sure you don't fall off this beanstalk. <sighs> fear of heights, fear of falling. Well, then don't fall. It's, it's good fun. We've got, you know, myself and Eddie Marzan and uh, you and McGregor have just done a scene where they're firing crossbows and we're ziplining across huge gaps. It was actually two pieces of stock. One was over on one side of the stage, the other was over on the other side, and we actually had the actors on a zipline. Go get it! This is a set of the edge of Gantua. We've taken basically a hillside here in Bourne Wood, and we've built a large cliff side with the top of a giant gargoyle. When you first enter it, it looks like this. But once the giants appear, the scale completely changes. What are trees to us or toothpicks to them? The most important thing was to establish to the design team was an ancient world. The giants had a primitive mentality. So we built big areas. The kitchen set where you're running around picking up giant knives and running across a, a kitchen table. So those sets are lots of fun to film on. Jack, you're here. I had this giant. In addition to our giants being big, Gantua is huge. It's beyond anything you could build on a stage. So what we do is use virtual technology to make not only the giants, but to build the environments as well. We tried to make it that once you're up in Gantua, it was unclear, you were in a maze of connecting rope bridges and walkways and arches. It was just this big universe created out of a chasm in the sky. Here comes the thunder. We have a lot of giants in there. We have a lot of technically very challenging things to do to get it exactly how Brian wants. This is a shot I think that shows really what animation can do here. And Brian like really liked the idea of him free falling. We ended up I think with a really fantastic shot that shows that he's quite the badass leader. Technology is quite overwhelming at times. But uh, that being said, with finished putting the giants on and everything, it'll be very exciting to see. Light it up! All the sets that have been built are incredible. They're so realistic and shoot just beautifully on film. Because of the scope and nature of it, because of the giants, this film is one that should be seen in a 3D theater. Let's cut a few of them down to size, shall we? That worked out better than I expected.